Okay, so Marcus, I'm stepping into a kitchen. Um, Hands are sweating already. Wait, I'm so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> but you selected some ingredients to cook a little dish. Can you explain the type of dish that we're cooking and why? Uh, so this is a traditional Filipino dish. Mm -hmm. um, I was born in Philippines. Mum's very proud Filipina, so whenever I want to think of my childhood, I guess, I lived there for eight years, so yeah. a big part of my life was spent over there, and this is the national dish of the Philippines. Mum would always cook this, so she's tried to teach me, but I always try and switch off. I'm, uh, I'm not the best in the kitchen, but I try my best. Rugby's not a major sport in the Philippines. No. So what attracted you to the sport? So my dad uh, is a very proud Englishman. Uh, he moved over to Asia when he was quite young, and he met my mum in Hong Kong, so he was working over there, playing a bit of rugby for Valley Fort Rugby Club, and he, he managed to play for Hong Kong a little bit. Yeah, he's the first international, yeah, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, exactly. He's, you know, he still has got uh, that on me. I wanted to be a footballer when I was younger, but my dad kept me, uh, <laughs> kept me playing rugby. But you had trials at Tottenham? I did, yeah, What's when this? I was younger. And I got invited down to their training ground, we did a little session, and we got told immediately after that we weren't in. Failing so early in my career, kind of brought home that it's not that easy, I've got to work harder, I've got to do stuff different, and yeah. I've got to be able to deal with this. I'm struggling, man. Are we doing okay? Yeah, I think so. We've got to maybe lower the heat in a minute. Yeah. Whatever happens, it'll be nice, I think. <laughs> and from a footballing perspective, as an Arsenal fan, yeah. the number 14, Henri, that's a jersey which comes with a history and a heritage and a pressure. England rugby, the number 10 jersey comes with a heritage, a history and a pressure. It is a special shirt, like every England shirt is. Obviously, there's going to be chat, there's going to be um, controversy and probably, being honest, when I was younger, I did, I did read into it. I did probably uh, think about it too much. I, I, do, I do remember one thing that someone said. Uh, he said, Marcus can't tackle, um, he'll never play for England. And the, the one that I sticks with me and will stick with me for my career is that, is that one. And I think it's a good, great lesson for me to learn at that age, and I'm glad I did. Everyone's gonna have an opinion. And yeah. I think just taking it with a pinch of salt, not taking your life too seriously. And I think the media is a big part of that. If you can help yourself in any way, not to look into it is probably the best starting point. And most importantly, try and keep my parents off it because it definitely affects, I know it affects them. You made your debut for England in 2021. Since then, you've won the Prem, been to World Cup, played in the Six Nations, and played for the Lions. It's not even been three years. It's kind of nuts, isn't it? I definitely, at the end of that 2021 year, when I made my debut for England, I couldn't fully indulge in the um, achievement that it was at the time. And I think looking back now, it's, it's a year that I'll definitely never forget. It's mad. I remember you making your debut. Yeah, coming and you off. were there, weren't you? Yeah. Because <laughs> you were taking me to the Euros. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yes, yeah, we were going to go, yeah. <laughs> go watch England play Italy in the Euros final. And then I think you text me, but like, bro, um, I yeah. can't make it to the Euros <laughs> final. I'm going yeah. to South I'm Africa. on the way to Heathrow. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I said sorry. <laughs> I mean, that's the best excuse ever. Yeah. I'm off to play for the British and Irish Lions. Do you know, I've got to say, it just smells really good. I hope, my mom, I hope my mum's watching. Yeah, that smells really She'll good. She'll definitely be judging me for this. So is this garnish? Is yeah, it's a bit of garnish, Okay, mate. cool. I think that rice is right. First time cooking rice in a uh, pan. I think it's all right. Did you measure the water? It's my mum's trick. It's basically to the top of the nail. Oh, uh, to the nail bed? It's, it's not, right. it's actually not burnt. I thought it was going to be burnt. <laughs> Talk us through it. I cooked the chicken, obviously. Takes a bit of time to cook, so I tried to brown both sides. Added a bit of soy sauce to that. A um, bit of sugar, a bit of vinegar, a couple of bay leaves. Got it's all about the presentation now, I think. This is decent. You have three, mate. You happy with that press? Yeah, actually, all right. <laughs> That's actually decent. <laughs> yes, actually. I'll add a dribble of sauce in a minute. Yeah, you have to. What do you think your mum and dad would say about this? Um, I think my mum would be very critical, <laughs> as she is. She's my motivator, so I take it on the chin. And my dad would be, my dad would be over the moon, I think. <laughs> You're the taste test. I'll go outside if you want to. <laughs> you can be honest. <laughs> chicken cooked? The chicken's cooked. That's actually bagging. Is that actually Yeah, right? legit, that's actually really good. I'm going to try this rice now. Is the rice good? The rice is so good. You've got to be happy with that, no? The rice, I'm very happy with. 
touch salty. But for a person that had no dinner plans, <laughs> just being fed, this is... It's all right, isn't it? Cheers, mate. That's you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate that.